Hey, what's up, beautiful bastards? I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. And welcome to today's ASMR news video. Alright, so today's story is about a famous streamer with the name Jason Rachalski. In case you are not aware who this guy is, he is a Valorant streamer and he got into a bit of a controversy lately for dodge queuing a female teammate. Basically, he was streaming one day, all good, and uh, he queued up for a match and as soon as he heard the voice of a female in his team, he quit the match. So, uh, yeah, as you may imagine, people been dragging the shit out of this guy, calling him sexist, trying to cancel him, you know, everything. He just released a statement here, we can read it, and then I'm gonna give you my opinion on the matter. My opinion may not appeal to the majority, but uh, I'm gonna say it anyways. But before we dive into that, let's read his statement first. So he said, taking accountability. I was avoiding certain online situations out of respect to my wife, Stephanie. When I was younger, I was not a good person to her. You probably understood what that means. And I take accountability for my actions that led us to this place. I was trying to avoid potentially toxic situations, not wanting her to be put through drama. I will no longer avoid these online situations. And I am sorry that my intentions were misconstructed by my actions. There are so many lies about me out there. Lies about Stephanie, who does not deserve this. There are people making false allegations out of out of context information. I wish nothing but peace and love for people and ask for a touch of understanding. I am sorry. <clears throat> So, uh, first of all, let's start off by saying, obviously what he did is very unacceptable, very weird, and should not be done. But, I am also a person who doesn't really like jumping into conclusions, and uh, jumping on a trend, because it's cool to hate on a certain person and cancel them. Uh, as I said, what he did is really horrible. But what I have a problem with is people labeling him as a sexist. Now, we are missing a lot of context here. Because there could be a million reasons why he did what he did. Assuming from his statement when he said I was not a good person to my wife and I take accountability for my actions that led us to this place, I'm assuming he was a bit of a player a few years back. So uh, I'm guessing his wife is having some trust issues and uh, yeah, he is trying his best to stay away from any uncomfortable situation. Um, yeah, maybe his wife is a bit too jealous. You know, there could be a million reason why he did what he did. But I don't personally believe sexist is one of them because definition of sexist 
is someone who has hatred against women. And I don't really think someone who is sexist would have a stable marriage life. This guy been married forever. Like if someone is actually sexist, his behavior will show some red flags along the way. And his wife will be the first person to catch on that behavior. So uh, I don't really think he is sexist. I think there is, there is a, you know, something else in the equation. Some private issues between him and his wife that led to such actions. Not really him being sexist or hating women. That's my guess. But uh, yeah, before we continue, let me reaffirm something because people in the internet are fucking dumb and they're fucking babies and you gotta repeat yourself a zillion times so they do not take you out of context and uh, yeah, next thing you know, you're gonna be cancelled too. I do not think what he did is right. It is horrible. You should not do that. We are not discussing if the fact of avoiding women is acceptable or not. Obviously, it is not acceptable. It is a horrible thing to do and should not be done, obviously. And I'm not defending him. What we are discussing here is his motive behind this action. People online believe that he is a sexist and he hates women that's why he did what he did and i personally think that's not the case i think maybe there is some trust issues between him and his wife you know you never know what's going on between a couple uh so uh, yeah because i I'm not like a big fan of the guy, but uh, you know, I watched the guy on and off and he played with the women before, you know, all good. I just think, uh, yeah, it's something with, uh, with his wife and uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's trying to avoid it all to, uh, yeah, have uh, good relationship with his wife. The famous streamer Ninja also uh, kinda did a similar thing. Kinda. Back in 2018 he said that he does not stream with women outside of group settings to avoid rumors and harassment. Uh, while this may sound extreme to some and it is to a certain degree, but I also understand why, you know, this may happen. You know, it's a private thing between him and his wife. So, uh, yeah, I'm guessing we have a similar situation here. It's just Ninja publicly declared that he will not be playing with female gamers. Uh, Jason on the other side, he did not declare it and it came across in a very questionable, weird way and people are assuming other stuff. Uh, yeah, at first he made the excuse that his PC shut down but uh, now he admitted that he was avoiding female gamers. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he maintains a healthy relationship with his wife. While, as I said, yes, this is quite extreme. Uh, but we don't really know the details of their relationship. So I'm not really the guy to judge. But uh, no matter what it is, it's not the same as, you know, calling someone sexist. That's a hefty tag to label someone with and to cancel his career. And, uh, 
yeah, basically ruin his presence in the internet and his job and all that. So, um, what do you guys think? Do you think he's a success? Do you think no? There's something else to the to the matter. What I'm gonna say is we should chill the fuck out a little bit before jump into conclusions. People love jumping on trends and slapping labels on people and canceling them. If something looks weird, you know, yes, it looks weird, but take a second. There may be some other stuff going on. Contexts do matter. Some people are calling him a simp because, uh, you know, he's coach on coach afraid of his wife. You know, people are speculating all kinds of things. Uh, the internet is a weird place. It's a weird, weird place. Uh, if I was able to make a living outside of the internet, I swear to God, I would never ever log into this shit. But it is what it is. I should have not quit college. <laughs> Anyways, that was it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. The comments are open for a healthy discussion. Do not be toxic. I am on neither side. I'm just, you know, trying to have a fair understanding of the situation and not jump on the trend and destroy someone's life. Anyways.